This is Robert from Stringer Media. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the California Aqueduct for those who don't know much about it and where it ends from here. Um, This is called the East Branch. Uh, This water comes over the Tehachapi Mountains, collects water from Colorado River, Sierra Mountains, those general areas. Brings it all the way uh, to us here to drink. Now at its furthest point here in Asperia, you'll see Farmington Road here and you'll see where the aqueduct is ending here. These are called siphons. A siphon is like a tube going under the ground and it comes up at a different point. So here you're gonna see the front of it. Water's going into the front of this uh, siphon area. And here you'll see the, uh, the large gates that lift up and they can control how much volume they want to go through these siphons. This is where most drownings occur because if you don't grab onto the buoys, if you were to fall into the aqueduct, uh, you could get sucked into these siphons. Now I'm going to turn around here, and you'll notice that behind me, uh, you don't see the aqueduct anymore because, of course, it ended. And the reason why is because you got the railroad tracks here. Now I'm going to turn the map around, and we're going to go further. You're going to see the point where it comes back up at. It's about a quarter mile away here in the desert. Here you can see where it comes back up. And this this area here depicts uh, where the train tracks go through. So here it goes back underground. From this point forward, um, it's going to go to Cedar Springs Dam just below Silverwood Lake and it's going to a pumping station there known as project number 2426. I remember in 2008 when uh, they were installing pen stocks that would come off the shore here and these pen stocks ran all the way down the mountain here or I should say that down the hill and uh, to this plant or pumping station and uh, I guess it was for any overflow at Silverwood Lake so they could pick that water up as well as the water coming from the aqueduct uh, passing under this pump here, pump station. And from here, it's going to send it to uh, Devil's Canyon. Now, it's a a long tunnel that's going under the uh, San Bernardino Mountains. And... uh, it's going to go to Devil's Canyon uh, pump station in Yucaipa. So here you'll see uh, where the reservoir is on the other side of the mountain in the Yucaipa area. And if you're ever going down the 15 freeway, you'll see these long pen stocks coming down the side of the, the mountain and uh, into the plant here. The Devil's Canyon plant is also known as a recovery station. It's both a power plant and a pumping station. From here, it goes through a 28-mile tunnel to uh, Lake Paris, and then from Lake Paris, it drops water off of Lake Skinner. Here's what looks like an air vent. So when the water comes down through the pen stocks, um, air probably escapes right here. And then it flows down into this, uh, to this plant. Now, I just happened to be down in uh, San Bernardino today, and I got off here at Kendall and Palm and uh, wanted to take a look at these these pen stocks coming down the mountain here. Um, I wanted to go to the plant, but I hear this plant has very high security, and the only way you can get to see this stuff close up is to get a tour. So what I did was I went to the furthest point in this residential area, uh, to this cul-de-sac here and uh, I parked there and I'm going to show you some live footage now. There's some links in my description you could check out of all this information in the sources. Yeah, 
there wasn't really much to see here. Um, you can see the race lines coming down. And uh, that's about it. Alright, thank you very much for supporting me. Have a good day.